Hey guys, Gary Fortin here. Dave Phelps here. Tap Out Brewing. Big Dog Brewing. In the garage. Where he brews beer. <laughs> Hey everybody, Main Brew Guy here. <laughs> Hope you got a chuckle out of that intro. I'm sure you all know who that is. Um, that is Dave Phelps, and that's Big Dog Brewing. Anyway, he came down to visit me. First one to visit here in Florida, so kudos to that, Dave. All right, so uh, as usual, we're gonna talk about a beer while we're talking about other things, okay? So Peer View Brewing, which is Josh Hoover, is, um, Belgian Golden Strong Ale, it's 10.5%, and he brewed that on 11-7-2020. So, yeah, it's got some time on it. Okay, and I've got my tulip glass give, given to me by the boys at Exit 12 Brewing with my logo on it. Now this should be pouring pretty clear. It's had plenty of time to sit. It looks beautiful. Gorgeous golden color, just like advertised. I'm gonna keep the kids out of the pool. Is there anything? Oh yeah, there's a good layer at the bottom there. It was a still pour, so it's got, well, I guess it's got a little bit of chill haze on it, but um, it is a big beer, so we'll consider that. Yeah, all right, good. Got a nice look at that on the drool cam. Oh yeah, getting huge Belgian notes, um, Belgian yeast character, sweet malt character. Yeah, that's real nice. Um, we'll get into that in a minute. All right, so a couple of things to talk about. Yeah, you saw that uh, Dave was here. We brewed DKN together. Had a few kind of brewery hiccups uh, in the morning, which gave us a kind of delay of game. And uh, that had to do with the um, kind of retrofits that I'm doing. Something to talk about in another video down the road. So I won't get too deep into that. And then of course, um, we brewed DKN, which is in this version, it's Drop Kvike And that is part of the BrewTubers 2021 yeast experiment. That's experiment number one. Uh, so I kicked that off probably, I'm probably the first one to kick that one off. And I'm using uh, Citrus King from Maniacal, which I cannot find any information on anymore. It's like gone from the internet. So if you all can find some information on that yeast, uh, please let me know. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm wearing this shirt. And uh, the reason why I'm wearing this shirt is this is the last time we were all together um, before COVID-19 hit. So I wanted to talk about uh, NHC in 2020. Two, which is going to be in Pittsburgh. Uh, BrewTubers, of course, is going to be there. We're going to be there on club night. We're going to have our new booth set up. Oh yeah, Josh, that's a real good beer, real solid. Getting a um, nice sweetness with a little bit of a drying finish. Um, it's got a lot of apple kind of um, cider kind of quality to it, actually. Yeah, it's very cider-like. No hop aroma. It's just all Belgian character even on the taste, but a real nice, clean rendition of a Golden Strong Ale. All right, so a little more of that brew day. We didn't get to record too, too much. Dave was uh, on a time crunch and we had some other things to do related to brew tubers itself. So there's a few bits of footage right now. We'll take a look at that. Okay, everybody, we're here in uh, Tap Out Brewing. We're brewing a uh, experiment beer for BrewTubers 2021 yeast experiment. It's the Dropkavik Nate. And uh, we've already mashed in. We're at the end of the mash. We're heating up the sparge water. Um, had a little delay of game this morning. I had uh, made some brewery changes prior to this brew day, which I'll discuss in another video. But I had a leak and also there was a pump problem this morning that I had to fix. And then, uh, had made a couple of little small errors, but uh, I think everything turned out all right after we fixed everything. So yeah. Dave, Dave was here to help me, fortunately, as a, one of these leaks needed uh, two hands. So um, yeah, we'll come back to the boil in a bit. So yeah, we had a, a little rocky start and mostly mechanical. My fault, didn't proof out the system after doing the uh, modifications. No big deal. 
Uh, we got it going. It just gave us a little less time to record, which is why I'm talking to you now. Uh, so I'll recap the brew day. Uh, so we did um, we did uh, d a drop kvikenate, as you saw, and uh, we adjusted the alpha acids on all the hops. Uh, the recipe was scaled up to my brewing, which is 6.5 gallons in here, uh, about six gallons in the fermenter, five gallons in the keg, and I usually, you know, lose a half a gallon to tube, and there's usually a half a gallon to play with, and that gives me a half a gallon plus or minus if I don't collect enough wort. Uh, we collected plenty of wort because I overshot. Um, we're, I was following my uh, gravity kind of throughout the boil and adjusting the boil rate a little bit. So Dave and I was checking um, the gravity throughout. At the beginning of the boil, the OG was 1045. Uh, we're shooting for 1042, but I always, I think that's always low for me on Beer Smith for some reason. Because uh, uh, if I don't boil, if, if, my, if I hit my pre-boil number and don't boil heavy, I won't hit my final gravity. So that's why I always think that number is a little off, and I'm not sure why. Anyway, um, no big deal. We came in at 10:45, so I thought eh, this is just a normal boil rate. Let's boil normally through the, throughout the day. So I was, it was a cool day, so I was brewing at 70% power. It was a regular boil rate. Checked it a couple more times. It's getting close to the end. We were already at 10:53. I said. Oh, 1052. We were right, right at 1052 with 10 minutes left in the boil. I said, yeah, I'm probably going to overshoot this a little. What I did was there was some wort left in the mash tun. I don't know why. There was just some left. So I, I emptied that out and it, it was probably about a half a gallon of wort. I checked the uh, final gravity on that and it was 1042. So we used that wort in the boil kettle to knock down uh, the gravity and it worked out. We ended up uh, It was fluctuating we th we thought we were still high we were at 1054 the next measurement was 1051 Then it was 1052 it was kind of like moving or it was a moving target a little bit with the bricks meter So I said, you know what? We're just gonna leave it alone. And I'll wait and I'll do a hydrometer read with it and as you see there uh, it, The hydrometer was saying 1050, but that was with the ward at 85 temperature corrected it was, uh, so we hit our numbers. And then when I checked the bricks reading from the same sample, it was also at 1052. So well, there you have it. We hit our numbers uh, with a little bit of tweaking and uh, hopefully it uh, goes well. Right. Yeah, it wasn't much. Brew day went well. Um, anyway, back to NHC. So um, yeah, so Pittsburgh is uh, much more centrally located. So I, I think there's gonna be a lot of uh, people wanting to come put their beers on tap. Now, I think that we could probably safely manage five to six taps, tops. So tap space is only available to paying club members. That's part of the, you know, some of the benefits of being a club uh, member. Think about your beers that you're gonna brew for NHC, right? Because you have a long time to think about that. So brew tubers, we wanna represent NHC. We wanna like overload them with you know, uh, entries and uh, yeah, you know, get our name on the board here. Somebody in our group has got to be able to put their name on the board. I do realize there's a little luck involved in everything, uh, including NHC. You could have a great beer, but a bad judge and you're done. It happens. Um, so don't be discouraged with that. Um, so when you win, it's a little bit of luck, but it's also a great beer, but there's some luck involved. <laughs> Definitely some luck involved. Thanks, Josh. Thanks for sending this. Uh, yeah, so uh, drop Kvike Nate uh, is ticking away. I think it's down to 1038. I had a little trouble keeping the temperature right on that because for some reason when Dave showed up, it got freaking cold here. So I had to throw some heat on it instead of the glycol, but today is 80, 82. So yeah, the next brew for me uh, at Tap Out Brewing on the experiment is the Saison. Everybody's busting my balls on that. So uh, the Saison is uh, going to be brewed um, when y'all are brewing the K Drop Kvike Nate, which I believe is the 9th or the 10th. Uh, so I'll be there for that brew day as well, but I'll just be brewing the Saison. Um, also, we'll be um, Zooming that if anybody wants to pop in.
And that's for non-club members as well. You can pop in. Say hi, see what we're all about. Okay, guys, that's my update. Oh, one other thing, no big deal, but yeah, I only have four taps here. I'm adding another kegerator to the uh, Lanai area here. So I'm in the market for a, a kegerator, a two tap at least, hopefully three to have out here. So that would give me anywhere from six to seven taps again, like I used to have when I was living in Massachusetts. Massachusetts, I had seven on tap. So I'm trying to get back to that. Uh, I have nine kegs, so a lot of them sit idle. Uh, so I'm ready for another kegerator and then that way I can brew more beer. So that's my update guys. Thanks, Josh. Thanks for the beer. Thanks for the golden strong. There you go. Great beer. I'm going to go ahead and sip that and enjoy it and edit some video. <laughs> Cheers guys. Check out brewtubers.com. Click on discord. Also sign up. Even if you don't want to commit to the registration, the full paid registration, there is a free membership as well, which you can go to discord and get in the lobby with that free membership. Come check us out, man. Things are happening. We got a big thing coming up in the fall too. Check us out. Cheers. Mm. Very nice job. Awesome.